Over the next few minutes, I'm going to reveal how to put winning Facebook ads in front of your competitor's audience. Now, this method is a step-by-step -step process that'll give you everything you need to shortcut your advertising success. And that's without having to spend thousands of dollars figuring this all out. And even if you have zero data in your ad account, or let's say you're just looking for new ads to test and scale to the next level. And here's the big kicker. We're gonna get Facebook to do the heavy lifting for us by manipulating the algorithm. And all you're gonna do is take notes and observe. And as a bonus, at the very end, I'm gonna show you how to verify that the ads you find are winners. So with that said, let's just jump straight into it with the first step is to find three things from your competitors so that you know what you should be adding to the ad set level, which is what age group they're targeting, what's the top locations and what interests they're using, or let's say that even are they working with open targeting. And how we're gonna do this is by first getting Facebook to serve these ads on your feed. So firstly, you wanna head over to Facebook Ad Library and type a keyword of your niche industry. So for example, you could type gardening, then a list of different ads from different competitors all should show up. Now, the key here is to find the most relevant ads and click through to their funnel and their website because you're essentially gonna trigger the pixel so that these ads will start showing up in your feed. But with that said, even though some of these ads will show up on your feed as retargeting ads, what we're really doing is training Facebook so it learns about what interests you're into and what kind of sites you visit. And when we do this, the algorithm will start showing more similar ads that are just like your competitors, basically essentially finding new competitors. So make sure to click through to ads that have a similar message or are your direct competitors. Now, to add more fuel to the fire, you can also go into Facebook search and type in the industry such as gardening. You select groups and then join and interact in these groups because again, all this is essentially teaching the algorithm to think this is what you're interested in. And the more Facebook receives these data points, you'll increase the chances of them serving the top ads from your best competitors. But once you do all this, it probably won't show the ads straight away. Just give it a few days. And then when you start noticing ads showing up in your industry, here's what you need to do next. Click the three dots on the right hand side of the ad. Click, why am I seeing this ad? then click advertiser's choices and you wanna go through and take note of the interest they're targeting, find out if they're using open targeting, broad interest, or even specific interest. Then what locations are they using to serve their ads? And finally, what are the age groups they're targeting? Because all of this information can then be directly used to put into targeting at the ad set level. But with that said, now you know the targeting, now you wanna set yourself up to win and serve your ad with the best chance of being a winner. So this step here, you wanna start taking notes of three things, which is the offer they're promising, the hooks they're using to grab attention and the structures they're writing their ads. Because these are gonna help you come up with crafting an offer or hook that's different from everyone else. So pay attention to what the offer is. All you need to do is go to the call to action and find out what are they saying to get their audience to click and then click and view the offer. Then what can you spot about their offer that you could innovate? Now, I say innovate because you don't do any stealing because obviously it's dealing is bad, but the idea is to do something different because once the market has seen something before, you can lose their interest straight away if they think they know what it is that they've already seen before. So instead, look for things that you can be different with what's being offered from your competitors. Then on the Facebook ad, what hooks are they using to grab attention from your audience? This is gonna give you an idea of what your competitors are doing to grab their audience's attention. So if they say, for example, the three mistakes that's killing your tomatoes or why the top gardeners are using this single ingredient to grow their vegetables five times faster, this will again give you the inspiration to come up with a hook that you know people have seen before and what attracts them. And then finally, with observing the copy, what's really important to understand is the structure of the ads. Now, I can't say this enough, but this will give you a good idea of what process is working well to get your audience to read or watch a video. Are they starting with a problem then leading to the solution to the offer? Does it start with a big promise that tells a story? How do they position their offers? When do they add the call to actions and so on? And when you get this, this is something you can take for your own ad. 
where you can use these structures to build out the copy that's proven to work. Because really, there's no stealing with structures as long as you create something completely different. However, for a deeper dive into understanding how to look into the offer, the hooks and structures, you can check a video below where I'll put in the description where I go through on Facebook Ad Library and show you real life examples of this. But finally, the third step is a bonus, which is if you can find winning ads this will shortcut your ad success by knowing exactly which angles, hooks and offers are working for you to innovate. This will save you a ton of advertising money because you're letting your competitors spend the money and then you're looking at their data to find what works and that's without paying a single penny. So the question becomes, how do you know your competitors' ads are winners? And the simple answer is, on the feed, you don't know. But well, here's an easy hack to find which ads are winners, which I'll share just in a second, because I do want to mention that I have some exciting news where we've had a lot of startups and small business owners tell us that they feel overwhelmed to get a winning campaign up and going using a small budget. So for better words, it's been a big pain in the ass. And the biggest challenge is they can't afford big agency fees or don't want to do long winded courses, but they really need the help. So I'm gonna do just that because I'm personally gonna invest in startups and small business owners by doing all the work for you where me and my team will launch a winning Facebook ad campaign one-on-one. -on -one. Now, it is a new initiative we call the One Campaign Kickstarter. It's basically designed in a way that's more affordable to virtually all new or small businesses. But most importantly, it shortcuts your ads success. Now, if this is something you wanna learn more about, you could go to zillaclick.com forward slash Kickstarter, or I'll just leave a link in the description below. But with that said, here's how to make sure that ads you find are winners. All you need to do is go to Facebook Ad Library, put in the competitors you found on your feed, then scroll to the very bottom and search for the ad which has been running the longest, because the dates will be an indicator that the advertiser has been running the ad long enough to continue to keep spending on that audience. So for example, dates that show only a few weeks or a month, this is usually ads that are running as a test. So make sure the ad has been running for at least a few months first to give you a better idea of what's winning. And another way is to type the keyword, then go to filters and put the date back, usually at least within a few months, and then you'll have a bunch of ads that have been running long enough to determine if they've been spending a lot. Now with all this said, even though you're setting yourself up to win with doing each of these steps to put a winning ad in front of your best audience, the key with Facebook's targeting is understanding the future of machine learning, where I share more about how to understand Facebook algorithm right here. And if you're serious about keeping up to date about Facebook advertising, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.